welcome to another episode of the Fast Pitch TV Show. I'm your host, Gary Leland, and on today's show, we have a seg uh, segments from other interviews I've done of people telling tips for new softball coaches. And by some new softball coaches, I'm talking about people who are starting out a new team, um, youth teams, okay? So we've got some Olympians, some Hall of Fame coaches, we have some good people to give you tips on how to uh, coach a softball team. Tips to help make your coaching better, I guess you could say, or help you to improve. So sit back and watch the show. If you're new to the show, remember, check out our website, fastpitchtvshow.com. That's fastpitchtvshow.com. Okay, sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and thanks for watching. A tip for coaches starting a new team, um, stress mechanics, stress consistency. I think that's what the game is all about. First team to make a mistake and open a door is usually the team that loses. And so it's important um, to know the fundamentals of the game, to play by the fundamentals, and um, you know, continue to work hard and realize that although we'd always want to win, it doesn't always happen. And so you always have to be able to learn from your mistakes and just continue to strive to get better. Um, for all you coaches out there that are wanting to put together a successful team, I think you need to get a lot of girls with the same personality so they can have good chemistry. Um, maybe some girls that have played together before, you know, so that something is familiar. And also make sure you find parents that are very, that have the same chemistry as the girls. You want a very nice, wonderful, comfortable atmosphere for your team. When you're my number one tip for a young coach just starting a team is one, make sure you're coaching for the right reasons. As a coach, you are beyond an instructor. You are an individual who makes a difference in the lives of these children. So hopefully your reason is to make a difference in the lives of those young athletes. So you are a role model and think about that. It's beyond ego, it's beyond the wins and loss records and focus on teaching the basic fundamentals of the grant game and you will reach those goals of success that other people measure as far as wins and losses. But when you see those kids playing in college and beyond on the PFX tour, then you know that you've truly made a difference in their lives as their coach. And you're right about that. I'd have to say um, to stay open-minded and, and learn and know that as much as a player's trying to impress you that um, you're working with a bunch of different personalities and a bunch of different... I think you have to be very, very patient and you have to learn that because they're young they're going to make mistakes and that's a good thing because they'll learn by mistakes if you treat mistakes as a positive and not a negative. And I think one of, the, one of the most successful things they can do is communicate. Find out what kind of kids they have, what their needs are, and then structure their practices and games accordingly. New young team. Number one tip for a coach starting out with a new young team, be a student of the game. Learn from everyone that you can. There are a lot of very knowledgeable people in our sport, and there's something new that you can learn from everyone. Nothing is completely gospel. Um, I think my advice for a coach that's starting out with a youth team is just make sure to keep it fun because I think that's what kind of gets you, uh, that whets your appetite when you're younger. It's just if it's something that's fun and that keeps you wanting to learn more and you know just keep it fun. Don't try to drill them too hard at the beginning. You know just keep it basic, keep it fun. Teaching the, the core fundamentals I think are the most important because sometimes that gets lost as you get older. coaches well I think the the best advice I could give a coach for young players is to really break the game down and make it fun for the kids their attention um, may be a little distracted at times and so you have to find ways to make it fun but I also would like to see the coaches hit ground balls that a, a player can get comfortable with I watch teams warm up and little kids to older kids and the coach is hitting the ball as hard as they can hit it and it's got top spin and the players are all of a sudden leery and, and they can't use their proper mechanics and they get afraid of the ball so I love to see a coach really work into it get let a player get very comfortable and then hit the ball a little bit harder at them. And 
Okay. I would say probably you just need to take the time to go to many as many clinics and camps as you can. Uh, the, the problem with young coaches is they see something wrong and they don't know the word uh, to be able to fix it or, or say, they don't have to be an expert in the game, they just need to have some words or phrases that they can say to those kids that make it right. And at that point, uh, I think they're they're not hurting those kids. And uh, I think you go to camps and clinics and you learn and you listen for the best. And you don't try to take everything. You try to take one or two things out of the clinics and that'll pay off for you.